Hi, yesterday I was in an Irani restaurant. As you people know, Hyderabad is very famous for Irani chai and that small onion samosa and then Osmania biscuit. So if you go to any hotel in Hyderabad, so they ask for that Osmania biscuit, that onion small samosa and that Irani chai. So the, I went to the hotel and I asked him, I want to have a cup of tea. And he said, sir, samosa. I said, yes, one samosa and one biscuit. So that guy who was selling the samosa and biscuits, what did he do? He brought one plate and in that plate, there were four samosas and four biscuits and he brought one cup of tea. And as I was trying to have tea, I had one samosa, I had one biscuit, I had one more samosa, I had one more biscuit. And then as I finished my tea, there were, I still saw two samosas and two biscuits were there still on the plate. Then as I was talking on the phone, I finished all of them. Finally, I paid the bill and came. Then I started to wonder that I went to the hotel to have one cup of tea, one samosa and one biscuit. But then why did I end up eating four samosas and four biscuits? It was not my intention. But that guy who was serving the tea, he was very wise. What did he do? He was trying to tempt me by putting four samosas and four biscuits. And maybe it is our culture that you don't want to leave something eaten and something left in the plate so that that fellow will take it back. Maybe because you saw something on the plate, you want to finish it up. That means if you would have brought only one samosa, one biscuit and one cup of tea, I would have paid only that much money. But just because he brought four samosas and four biscuits and one cup of tea, I could finish all that. Means my intention was not to have four samosas, but I did eat four samosas. My intention was not to eat four wasman and biscuits, but I ate up four biscuits. That means that guy was trying to sell me. Then I understood that lot of sales techniques, management skills to learn. You don't have to visit IAMs. You don't have to go to XLRI. You don't have to go to big business schools, but even illiterate, uneducated people who are selling things day in, day out, they know these sales techniques so cleverly. Only thing is we have to keep our eyes and ears open and we should be conscious enough to see how this guy was trying to tempt me. He was trying to sell me more than what I really needed. Very important. Think about it. What is it that you can implement to satisfy that little sales pitch that you can do for your people and maybe you can do much better. So this is one lesson that I learned yesterday and I couldn't stop but laugh uh, at myself and I couldn't stop appreciating the intelligence of that guy who was trying to sell because having gone through so many books and having taught so many people about sales, having been a psychologist and that guy, he could actually tempt me to buy four samos and four biscuits. It's all about being wise, trying to apply those little, little techniques in human psychology. And that's what will make all the difference. So think about it. You can do it as well in your own profession.